ACE generally stands for Adverse Childhood Experiences. And so the ACE program seeks to alert school districts so that when a child is identified as, as having experienced something traumatic, the school district is notified and at least the teachers, the administrators and school counselors can be told about that, that alone, just that the child may need a little bit more extra care and the teacher needs to know uh, what the child's been through. Um, we would want to be more sensitive to the student, seeing how we could offer supports, if we need to get a counselor to see the student, um, but also just being available to the student. Um, if we can see that they're upset, then we want to know um, you know, is the student upset because of the tra traumatic event or is it, are they upset because of the incident that just happened outside? We need to know what the why and so that we can be there for the student and offer different supports. I was concerned that the teachers might think it was one more thing on their plate, but even the teachers have been excited about it. I had a teacher raise their hand after I went to all the school sites and explained the program to them. She raised her hand. I was a little concerned she was going to be upset and she's like, if this even helps one student, it's well worth it. So it was a great program, it's been successful for us. A similar program was started by the San Jacinto Unified School District. And so we in many ways modeled our approach on what the work that they had already done. And secondly, Stanislaus County had developed a, a broad-based ACE alert system that we took their work and we brought that approach to Riverside County. We are now in all law enforcement uh, cars and in fire trucks so that first responders can alert the ACE system when they come across a child who has suffered an, an ACE, an adverse childhood experience. Law enforcement, we come in contact with ACE events, I would say more, there's more of an increase now. And I would say that uh, that is a good thing because what it does is it allows us to, to be able to focus on these children who, who, who are in need. We, we identify these children, we, and put their name in the system and send their contact information to the school. With the introduction of this ACE program, it's allowed first responders and particularly law enforcement to, to really focus and prioritize the children in need. Our administrators, counselors, teachers at schools are able to download the information, they're able to target the information and so when that student comes into our campuses, maybe if they're late, uh, maybe if they've experienced something that is traumatic, uh, we can evaluate that and we can further uh, support our students by talking to them, uh, really getting a, a mental health professional to, to provide wraparound services to our students, which has been a tremendous blessing to them uh, because we've been able to really uh, garner and galvanize the support that they need for, for their services. You know, people don't call the fire department or emergency medical services or law enforcement because they're having a good day. You know, all of the things that we respond to as the fire department and emergency medical services obviously have the potential to affect a child of school age. Uh, we work real closely with our partners from Child Protective Services and our law enforcement partners in Riverside County to make sure that in addition to the ACE program that those incidents get reported and, and other support mechanisms you know, in the, in the law enforcement and the district attorney's office. Um, they provide additional support mechanisms for them in, in those instances. In the short time that we've had the ACE system in place, there's already been thousands of reports by first responders to various school districts uh, of children who've suffered a traumatic or adverse childhood experience. At the district attorney's office, we know that uh, we can't do the work of bringing justice and bringing healing to uh, victims of crime. We can't do that work alone. And so we're very thankful to all our partners across this county who have stepped forward and engaged with us on this program. We're, we're grateful to everybody in law enforcement. We're grateful to all the school administrators and counselors and teachers who have embraced this program and this approach. And it's gonna do wonders and hopefully bring a little bit of justice and a little bit of healing to those who have witnessed uh, traumatic events.